Listen to this. Don't move because we've got a special guest coming into the studio in just one moment. We got a phone call from Megan, who's 17 years old in the San Gabriel Valley. She she got dumped by her prom date because she didn't want to hook up with him. Listen. And he was texting me and was like, are you okay with being more, like being my date, not just as friends? And I was like, well, I don't understand because I feel that we are just friends. And he was like, well, do you have your mindset on that? Nothing more, nothing less. And I was like, well, yeah. And he, I was like, what are you expecting of me the night of prom? And he was like, well, I want to have a fun night, and I want you to have an open mind. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? What? And I just told him, I like you as a friend, and if you're expecting more from me, then you're not going to get it. And here she is now, 17-year-old Megan, with her mom, Susie, and her dad, Chris. And her brother, Jason? Yes, they're all here. All right, so this is prom season. This is prom dilemma 101. And this guy, nothing more, nothing less. I mean, what is he? what was he talking about? Mom, um, cover your ears. Um, <laughs> let's just say he wanted to go pretty far at prom night. Yes, he wanted to at least make out with you. A little more. Right, and that. it made... Look, I got it. All right. <laughs> and it made you uncomfortable, obviously. Yeah. And who was the first person you told? My mom. Okay, and I love that you guys have that relationship. Thank right? You. I think every mom wants to be able to say that their kids come to them with everything. Yes, everything. She talked to me about a lot of different things in her life. And and what was the reaction after all this was on the radio? What happened? Any fallout or any good news? No. Just No, no good I, news, no bad news? No, just it just happened and Are you going to prom? Yes, I That's am. That's good news. <laughs> but not with that dude. No. What was with that dude? I mean, I don't want to point him out because, know. you know, I don't. I, he's a young guy. He's he's trying to figure himself out, right? I mean, he's a little bit naive. But to say that, it just seems so uncomfortable. I felt for you, but I'm happy you're here. Me too. Thank you. So, um, Mom, when, when someone comes to you like your daughter, you have a son too, yes. and they're going through stuff like this, what advice did you give her? What did you say to Megan? Just keep true to yourself. Yeah. And do not do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing. I exactly say I trust you. You use your own judgment. Yes. Use what I've taught you <laughs> as a great parent, and use your own judgment. Yes. Well, we're happy that you're here. This is the Radio Ranch. This is where we work every day. So when I talked to you over the phone, this is where I was sitting. And do I look bigger in person? Uh-huh. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> I can I can read your mind. She's like, wow, he looks bigger in person. Uh, tell me about yourself. What do you what do you do? what do you like to do when you're not at school? Um. Well, I play volleyball. I played volleyball for my school. I like hanging out with my friends. Do you watch TV? Mm-hmm. I think we have a lot in common. We both like Kiss FM. Yeah. We both probably want to go to Wango Tango. Probably. <laughs> right? Um, let's see. I like the ABC Family shows. Do you do like I? those shows? Yeah. Like, I love Pretty Little Liars. I don't watch that show. Do you watch Secret Life? I yes, like that I one. I love that. Really? It, it reminds me of my life that I wanted. <laughs> but why do you like it? I don't know. I just think it's fun to watch. Do you like the guys on the show? Yeah. Uh, you know, Ken and Greg, the actors, Ken and Greg, uh-huh. you know, they play, oh they play Ben and Jack. Oh the, they're the two guys standing next to you right now. And they've got flowers for you. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you recognize them? Yes. Uh huh. Um, we're actually wondering if, uh, if you'll go to Wango Tango with us. Oh my God. We'll take you backstage and Darren's going to come too. Yeah. Oh. You down? Yes. Right. Are you down? <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, what's up? How are you? How are you doing? Good. Come on in. Use yeah. a microphone. Yeah. Oh Here's God. Susie. Slide one. Let one of them borrow that microphone. Okay. Just just roll your chair on over. It's family style. We'll do this family style. No, I want to know what's going through your head right now, I'm Megan. I'm just in a state of shock. I don't know. <laughs> now, look at these guys. Don't not look at them. They're serious. They want to take you to Wango Tango to be their guest. That's... Really big. Do you want me to get permission from Susie? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, congratulations on the success of the series. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Um, why do you think girls like Megan like the show? Um, wow. Uh, a lot of drama. A lot of. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it relatable Maybe. drama? Do, like, do you go through this kind of stuff? Sometimes. The love, it's, it's a little embellished, right? I mean, it's not quite as perfect drama like in your real life, is right. it? No. Yeah. But it's, it's the same and, and the confusion's the same and, mm-hmm. and the relationship. Did you hear what happened to her? Yeah, we heard. We yeah. need to go kick this guy's I know. Tell you. <laughs> We've got the guy. We've got the guy. What's his name? Social Security. Uh, that's all we can't call him out. We can't call him out on the radio. We could bring him down to Wango Tang and put him in a dunk tank or something on the stage. Yeah. Tomatoes. Yeah? yeah? He had no idea what he's getting himself into when he did wow. this to Megan. Oh, my there you God. Go, right. man. We, almost, we almost feel bad for him. <laughs> we don't want to make him feel bad, but uh, you know what you did. Yeah. So do you want to ask these guys anything about the show? 
I feel like I got to give um, the opportunity to ask him something. You watch fun? him every week. So fun. So fun. It's yeah. not work, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's a blast. Every The cast and crew is great, yeah. and working with these goofballs is easy. Yeah, we have and, a good time. Uh, yeah, it's great.